Yep, hi there, it's Kerry here again from uh, Stony Creek in Tarragon. Uh, today I was wanting to run through uh, pack fitting with you. Um, we've got three packs in our range that have got adjustable harnesses on them. Uh, there's an 80 litre called the Hiker, uh, a 60 litre we call the Trapper, and there's a 35 plus, 35, 40 litre uh, that we call the Ranger. So they've all got adjustable harnesses on them, um, so you can get a, a really good fit. It helps you carry that load a lot better. What we're trying to achieve with the adjustable harness is we're trying to set the length of the back of the harness to be the same as your torso length. So from the top of your hip, if you're the very top of your hip there, to the peak of your shoulder, we want to set that to be the same height as on the pack here from the middle of that hip belt, the stitch line on that hip belt, through effectively to the top of that shoulder strap. So to adjust the pack, what we do is if you lie the pack down, it's the same for all three packs, Lie the pack down and you need to split that Velcro on the back of the lumbar. So if you slide your hand in there, split that Velcro and pull that lumbar pad back. You see you expose the buckle there. This is the adjustment buckle uh, where all the adjustment happens on the pad. So if you pull that buckle down, it shortens the shoulder straps. You let that buckle go and it lengthens it. So you've got plenty of adjustment there. Again, pull it down, you've got a short back, you pull it down, it compresses it, longer back, you lengthen it. You'll notice there's actual markings on the, the strap here to help you indicate where you need to go. I know personally I need to have it set on 40, so I set that on 40 there. Once you've got your back length, to make sure there's no movement or no slippage, what you can do is if you pull that down slightly and you tuck that back underneath that buckle, and then that won't move, that locks that in place and that's not going anywhere, so that's your, your fit effectively dialed in. Then if you just put that lumbar pad back, you tuck it under, slide that back in place, and there you are, you're locked in. Now, before you go to put the pack on, it's important that you undo the top load lift straps here, which you'll notice we've got in a different colour from your lid strap. Undo both load lift straps on that side, under the bottom of both shoulder straps as well. You throw the pack on your back. Now it's easier if you grab these straps and you pull them down and back that way and you lift the pack onto your back slightly. Not all the way up, just so it feels nice and firm. Grab your hip out there. You notice on all stony creek backs we've got a centre pull buckle system. So you pull that, clip it together, you pull those two in towards each other. You can really crank it on that way and you don't get a lot of slippage or a lot of movement so you really pull down those, get them nice and tight. Then you shrug your shoulders a little bit and you pull those straps down till they feel nice and comfortable on your back. What you want to get is the shoulder strap here runs and touches your shoulder the whole way across the top. You don't want a gap at the back, you want as much contact as you can. Once that's in the right place and that feels really good, grab your load lift straps here, your grey ones, and you pull them in and you'll feel that'll pull the, the back of the pack towards you there yeah, and really snug into your back nicely. Once that's all good and in place, the last thing you do is your sternum strap. Um, this is on rails, you'll see here that slides up and down. So you get that to where it's a comfortable position. Normally across your sternum, across the top of your chest there. You do that up and you pull it up. That's elasticated, so it enables you to breathe. You've still got a bit of movement in there, so you want it snug but not really, really tight, you know. Once you've got that in, that's a really good fit, that's a comfortable pack. So you're good to go. Taking the pack off, just the reverse, under the sternum strap first, under the waist belt second. It's always a good idea to unsnug those under your arms, and then you can swing your pack off your back after that.